Thermal evaporators work by passing current through a crucible containing the source material. Ohmic heating increases the temperature until, at the evaporation power, the material in the crucible changes phase to a gas. It evaporates. A sample substrate above the crucible will condense the gas so that a layer of material grows on the substrate surface. To measure how much material is deposited, we have a rate monitor that is exposed at the same time as the samples. The rate monitor is a quartz crystal that can be made to vibrate at a known resonant frequency. As material is deposited on it, the resonant frequency drops. There are relationships between the material properties of the source material, the acoustic impedance and the density, and the change in frequency with thickness. Together with a factor describing the position of the rate monitor in the chamber, the tooling factor, this allows the thickness to be calculated. Our evaporator consists of a turntable to rotate the samples, doors to put the samples in, and doors to the crucible. It also consists of a penning gauge used to measure the pressure, indicator lights and controls for the pumps, the rate monitor control unit, and the crucible power supply. At the back of the chamber, we have the turbine pump and also the pressure gauge itself. At the back of the evaporator, we have the compressor. The compressor compresses the air which powers the shutter above the crucible. It also supplies air to slow down the turbine pump when it's turning off. At the back, we have the on switch for the compressor. 